Hi everybody, if I want to play next, where we bring everything that is awesome in gaming. This is Severed Steel. So this is Severed Steel. Looks like everything that was awesome in gaming to us. Um, try campaign. Generally, that has a little bit more storyline, so it's just a little bit more engaging. More relaxed experience and any comment for. We'll just, uh, we'll keep it straightforward here. Oh, I have, it supports, well, controller support, we'll do that. Get our little pointer out of your eye there, sweetie. So it looked interesting. It had a different sort of graphic style and interface. That's what we love here, you know? Ooh, purple eyes. It's fairly unique, you know? You, see, you uh, read about all sorts of different hair colors and so on, obviously, in our weird little circles. Um, but purple is pretty rare. Trash compactor. Okay. Escape. My goodness. You're not messing around. Tap you to slide, tap you while moving. So we're gonna slide, ready? Parkour. Right into you. Oh. This graphic style is throwing me. It's cute, don't get me wrong. I like it, but wow. Okay. So this is definitely parkour. Let me shut up and focus here for like 0.3 seconds. We got a blue line telling us where to go, and I, a hockey fan, did not notice that. So, all right, we're gonna have to slide that. I assume that there's gonna be some action. I did cut down to stop an early stop. Tap A. Slide downstairs for a boost in speed. Yes, you can slide downstairs. That's hilarious. This is giving me some weird camera angles. Kick. Oh, it definitely does. Look at that. <laughs> Jump, climb, dive. Alright. Press A while jumping to double jump. Go through windows. That's exciting. Press Y to dive. What am I diving through? Oh, okay. So they're teaching us every way to enter a room. Or to break windows with our body. <laughs> Ever. Oh, interesting. Is that all I'm getting out of this? Can I kick a door open? I don't know. What's this, What's this here, friend? What do we know? Chain a jump, double jump into the dive. Alright, that was significantly... While jumping to kick off a wall. It is, you know... Alright, press right stick. Alright, what was I supposed to do with that? I kick- you saw the kicking! So we're very excited by this. Oh! Oh wow, they're not joking about the parkour aspect here. Run on the walls! Alright. So I can no, no. Do we do that? No we don't. There we go. Don't wanna, um, I think the kicking kind of threw it, well, I don't want to say threw it, but I have to angle my, um, joystick. You know, by giving you the second option, it does heavily imply that you should angle your joystick while you're doing this, but it's producing some weird results when it comes to, like, locking me up up there. It's always in that period. How many times you will line up in the- Yeah, see, I didn't lock my- I have to like actually angle my joystick. This toward kind of so annoying it is. I think not, friend. I am so angry all day for it. What does this do? That kills me. I really, you know, I'm enjoying. I do not want to angle my freaking joystick. Want it? Want it with me? Okay, so let me see if this is me. Um, it's gonna take me a second to get behind the controls. So I wanted to skip out to the dev and see what the firing interface was like. So this is worth a darn as far as the firing interface goes. Um, then I'll figure out what it is and I'm like, just grab a tutorial and see where they double jump at that one spot. I like parkour, but I'm not great at it. Like, that's not my strong point. So, 
has to be solid parkour for me to do it right. And you're not grabbing onto anything. So I'm not sure, like, feet are counterintuitive. Definitely worth learning, though, it looks like. You get different guns. You have, um, you know, it's really straightforward, but you have, like, this run and gun style experience where you're gonna do flips and kicks and so on. It makes sense that you would go through this, you know, really long process of learning these controls, which obviously I'm not gonna do with you guys along. Just because it's over and over and over again until you can do it really fast and take out your enemies in really interesting ways. So that is a cool concept. I like it. it says it's an intense single player FPS featuring a stylish movement system, completely destructible levels, and an acclaimed OST. Yeah, so you can kick down anything and it kind of has that look and feel to it. But I wanted to check it out, you know, and see what it had to offer. It's got a great neon, like a great neon punk, uh, cyberpunk or pink punk feel with the chick pro tag. There we go. That'll give me a little bit more in the way of. Um, just okay. So you got your kills. Um, you've got you know your running points. Uh, looks like it keeps track of your motion and distance for you. Um, the neons are distracting, but you do get used to them. So as far as like mastering a system, you do have to go and you have to like master the controls um, because it looks like you're going to use them um, in combat where you're coming at them from ang different angles. I'm going to skip to firefighting. You got explosive ammo that you can change up. Oh, you can uh, do the Doom style editor, level editors. But when you're, even when you're following story mode, yeah, see it has you go up along walls and so on. Um, and it's not giving you cheats or anything for that, so it looks like that is the combat, like the combat style that they expect you to master. So you can do that backwards um, and cling to a lock to a wall. You can do it forwards and do kick flips and so on uh, while you're attacking. You've got a good HUD, uh, and then you have a level designer. We always go down for level designers. Um, I love that sort of like interactivity. That's one of the big things that make made Doom huge, if you're not familiar with the genre, uh, FPS in general, um, but specifically this sort of grinder. Um, Doom was big because people would go in and they would make these little, I want to call them jar files, and they're not. I just played one Unloved, where they actually went in and released it separately because it was so popular. So um, you get to go in and make these and then put them up for other people on um, local area networks uh, or so on to play on. Um, so you can do the level builder, but it does have the story mode where you're this chicken. She's just basically busting out of a facility. I can speak busting out of a facility um, where you're just going to have to do kicks and flips and twirls and so on. And that's going to take forever to get a hang up, but it's going to be really, really fun um, high octane when you do get it. So definitely looks like it's worth it if you like level building, especially if you like playing other people's levels and so on. Um, you know, they can include story points in them. They can do, you know, all sorts of stuff where you have, you know, like intro and so on. Or, you know, you have people doing different things. That's obviously Bethesda things is using objects to, you know, move a, move a storyline along and they make bank with it. Um, so very simple setup, though, that lets you do that um, brick by brick building if you're into if you love minecraft so link in the description below also down there is gamer grind gamer coffee shipped to your door you put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks uh we love the pirate queen you can splash that everywhere obviously um also down there is coffee qfi buy this chick your coffee one dollar make me smile um what else we did one on patreon so if you like that twitch style subscription we did sign up for patreon so you can um support us five dollars monthly obviously we're big involved with the indie community um so we donate a lot of our time you can donate that way definitely hit subscribe though hit the bell and then you can just get a little thumbnail see if you're into what we're covering see if it's your jam and find what you love so smash subscribe we love you guys we love yours long for ride and we'll see you next video